Sports Down at Naked Coffee, Melrose Arch, where we're about to chat to Mark Sham, who is the founder of a new trendy informal learning platform called Suits and Sneakers. Let's check it out. Well, business has taken many really cool turns these days, and I'm catching up with Mark Sham, who's the founder of Suits and Sneakers. So I'm really cool to chat to you. Number one, the name of your business is pretty interesting. Tell us more. Okay, so uh, we have a cool story in terms of how it comes about. I believe these days that getting a formal education is like putting on a suit. Mm. I think in 2016 that's a very cool thing to do, but because of the inflation of academics, life has changed. In 2016, just because you've got a degree doesn't necessarily mean anything. So we think getting a tertiary education is like putting on a suit, but we think to excel, you also need informal learning. Uh, you need to be a bit more street savvy and wise. Informal learning kind of represents the sneakers. We think the lines become blurry between the two and you need to know when to wear either. Well, very catchy and I love it. But do tell me a little bit more about the pillars of your business. I would say it's almost divided into talks, events, yes. education. We are like the university of informal learning. So when I analyze human development and training in the workplace, I think that for it to be effective, you need to have learning that's ritualized in the workplace every day. Like when we went to school, you learned every day and the same thing with varsity, but there's this disconnect that happens after varsity. We basically tell people once they've got a degree, okay, cool, duck, you're ready to, to, you know, to live your life and you know everything you need to know. And that's not true. You know, you're just getting started when you're out of varsity. So we've kind of used work as a place just to do work. There's almost no learning that takes place, excepting we send our staff on one-day workshops or we have a Mark Sham and the like come and talk. And I'm trying to bring ritualization of learning into the workplace every day. That's the, really the aim. So what I decided to do was use some big events to build the awareness, and that's how we got here. Tell us a little bit more about the one coming up in March at the Santa Convention Center. We're expecting 3,000 people. We've made it free. A lot of people give me, they're a little bit weirded out by this, but free because I want to take away the barrier to entry. I don't want just a select group of South Africans to be able to attend a human development conference. Uh, we've got some really cool speakers like Tony Leon, Vusi Tembakwaya, Gilon Gork, and a comedian named Dusty Rich. Yes. We've got a fifth female speaker, which we're just busy confirming. I think that what you do is so content loaded and you dropped a few words like human development as well. So how do you choose to filter everything? Since Suit and Sneakers is totally mine for now, I like to think of it as an open source idea and I'm taking huge amounts of influence from all over where I can. If I find a topic that I think is intriguing and interesting, I think there's a lot of other people that would find it interesting. And at heart, I'm a storyteller by trade, so I think I've got a knack for synthesizing information in the right way. So if you take this event uh, coming up, the one we were talking about, 17th of March, we've got a comedian talking about career advice. Why? My angle was, everybody tells their kids, become a doctor, lawyer, accountant. No one says become a comedian. I want to hear career advice from the guy who was told his whole life not to do something and then became really good at it. So what's next for Suits and Sneakers? Sure. So the aim is we run these really big events three times a year. Uh, what started filtering down now is almost weekly events, we call them Suits and Sneakers Fixed. There they're called Fixed because they focused on a specific topic and they're much smaller, more intimate, less about this big show and more just about an experience. Ultimately the goal is I'm trying to use the platform that I'm building um, to really push for ritualized learning in the workplace. That may look like an online training platform where employers give some of their employees time in a day to learn and I don't know how it all looks like yet I'm busy working it out each day it gets clearer to me but I'm using the big events and the need for this informal learning platform to build toward that so I'm hoping to change the face of training within the workplace purely because I think that if I were to give my best shot at changing South Africa from the inside out this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to get people more developed and more learned. Mark, what is your personal top life lesson for tech startups? Everybody pictures that success looks like quite a flat map. You know, starting at A and finishing at B. And we, it just never works like that. So I would say even to tech startups, the flow of information in the world is just changing so quickly. You have to be on top of it. You have to have a really good idea. You have to believe in it. You have to execute every day and iterate and probably the biggest thing I can say is that if you can fail forward fast, wow. yes, if you can really, you, it's, you're bound to just get things wrong. The quicker you get through what you do wrong to get to what you do right, 
Uh, I think that's the, probably the biggest lesson I can share with people. Mark, you are a wealth of knowledge. We love your work. You talk so passionately about what you, you do. And here's to giving suits and sneakers an entirely different interpretation. Don't miss Suits and Sneakers, 17 March at Santon Convention Centre.